<laughs> Hello, we have made it to the RV for our staycation in Carlsbad, California. Have our RV parked here and we just unloaded the car and got all settled in. We're only here for two days, so we just grabbed a couple things um, and we're gonna kind of hope, pray for some good weather. Maybe we can go to the beach, but we'll just hang out in the area and see how the weekend goes. I feel like that's how every one of my videos starts where I'm like, let's just see where it goes. I don't have a plan, it just, life happens. <laughs> So we stopped at Dutch Bros and got some smoothies and a pup cup for Ace, which I'm not sure he's ever had before. He really liked it. It's basically just like a little cup of whipped cream with a little dog treat inside. So that was a nice little treat, kind of give us a little bit of energy for the rest of our day and the rest of our night. And we're just waiting for Eric to get here and we will get started on our weekend so glad you're here and following along with the life of the Troxels. if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up while you're watching just lets me know that you enjoyed it and really helps me out really helps grow my channel so i hope that you enjoy so here you go ace here's your pup cup just whipped cream and a dog treat are you ready are you ready Hello, so here's my family, Eric and our three girls, and uh, we've been staying down at this campsite in Carlsbad, California for the spring and the summer. Uh, we'll leave the RV there and come down for some long weekends. We also have a playlist from some trips we've done down in San Diego and at different RV campsites as well as when we came in May. Um, earlier so I can share those videos if you're interested in seeing more about this location and all of the amazing things that you can do in Carlsbad. I also think it's important to note that as much as these videos are uh, helpful. I hope that you find them helpful and entertaining. They're also the memories for my family. You know my channel is literally called the life of the Troxels so I also want to create these videos to just show my family and the fun that we had in these a couple of months staying down in Carlsbad and that we can look back at as well. So a little bit of family videos as well as I hope some um, entertainment for you as well. Let's see, should I do one with like the different lenses? Do you like these? Mm hmm. Not bad. They're Michael Kors. Oh, yeah, take a picture though. Tortoises are like dinosaurs. They've been around a long, long time. It was still so beautiful walking around the botanical gardens, spending some time outside and in nature and learning some really cool things, seeing some beautiful views. And this was a great way to spend the morning. Uh, we were out all day until we uh, came back to the RV for nap time. The flowers, hold on, Brooklyn, we're coming. The flowers go different colors depending on when they bloom. Yeah, you 
you can. I don't have Make a wish. I don't. Then. I wish. Okay, throw it in. Oh, okay, Brooklyn, throw it in. To put my sweats back on, cause we were mad love. Temperature raising, getting impatient, anger inflating. My love is new, my love. How many do you see? Brooklyn, how many turtles do you see? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Wanna show it? What book is it? Um, Frozen? Frozen? Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Go take a look. Is it pee, Brooklyn? Uh -huh. Yeah? I'm trying to you inspected climb. it? Uh-uh. I'm trying to climb this tree. You're gonna climb the tree? Whoa, that is really tall. That was a big palm tree. So, I realized I haven't talked to you guys and talked directly to the camera for a while. Uh, so I wanted to kind of catch you up, see where we were. So I think I left off after last night. Um, uh, we went to the park and when we were at the park, my sunglasses kept like falling down and I have them here and they just don't stay on my nose. It's like, they like, fall. every time I like lean forward, they like fall down like this and it's so, so annoying. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get a new pair of sunglasses and these are just like cheapo Amazon ones. So I'm like, I need just like a cheapo pair to replace them. So we went to the outlets, we went to a uh, sunglass hut, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get a pair of sunglasses, sunglass hat. And so we walk in and she greets us and she's like, hey, we're having a sale. If you buy one pair at full price, you get the second pair at $100 off. And I was like, okay, well that means that every pair in this store costs at least $100. And I was like, and probably at least double that. And I think the cheapest pair was like 139 or something like that and I was like I can't I'm like I don't I have a couple high-end sunglasses but like the pair that I keep in my purse and wear to the park with my kids is not that pair so we wandered around and we actually found like one of those little kiosks that they have and I got uh, two pairs of sunglasses and then a pair for my daughter so these are the ones that I got today and they are super mirror-y and then I also got this pair. And it's got a little gold on the side and they're not like name brands or anything. It's not from like a store that I can link, but they're kind of the same shape lens, but they're a little bit bigger of a lens than this other one. And they are staying on my head just fine. I wore them all day today. And then my daughter, my four-year-old got this you see it's got a little bow yeah it's super cute so these the three new pairs together this piece of hair is bothering me the three new pairs together was 43 dollars and i was like that's the type of sunglasses that i need in my purse that i can just like don't worry about dropping or my kids breaking them or like whatever and i wore them all day today and i loved it so that was a fun adventure and then we went to P.F. Chang's and it's at a takeout order because surprisingly P.F. Chang's is a restaurant that has a lot of gluten-free options. And so we got like the gluten-free lettuce wraps and the gluten-free beef and broccoli. 
and had that for dinner. And then we also picked up Cold Stone, which was a nice little treat, except for by the time that we got back from Cold Stone all the way back to the RV, it was like 60% melted. So not really worth it, but it was like kind of a nice little treat. So we did that. Okay, I'm gonna sit here. And so what we did today, do you wanna sit on my lap? No. No, okay. So what we did today was we went to uh, Discovery Zone. Discovery Zone? Yeah, that's what it was called. It's like right on one of the lagoons. Mama, yeah, Brooklyn, do you wanna sit on my lap? Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on in. Right on one of the lagoons there. And um, they have like a cool little, all sorts of animals. They had like chickens and turtles and like a little fairy farm. And they have like uh, aquariums and different like exhibits like that. And it turns out they were closed today. They had like a private event. So we just wandered around on the outside that we could access. We couldn't go like into the building and we were there for like 30 minutes and we we're like, oh, that's kind of lame. Like what else can we do? So we ended up at the Botanical Gardens. <laughs> Hi. Um, so the San Diego Botanical Gardens and, <laughs> okay, okay, silly goose. You're a silly. Do you, are you sure you don't want to sit next to me? Yeah. So we really liked it. There was like a lot to explore, a lot to wander around, lots of different like plants and stuff. So we really liked that. And we were saying we would be members if we lived in the area closer. Like it would be such a fun place to go just on like the weekend. They had like little tree houses and like little dinosaur bones. And it was a lot of fun. So we're just gonna hang out here at the RV for the rest of the night and have some fun. Hi, subscribers. Buddy, let me see your glasses. Yeah, cool, dude. Okay, so it is 6.30 now. We just finished dinner and we decided we're gonna go to the pool. We are all a little bit dirty from our excursion today. So we're just gonna kind of use it as a way to like rinse off and get clean and hopefully also kind of relax for the end of the night um and i am recording on eric's phone so i don't know if the quality is going to be any different or better or what but i got my new sunglasses on and they are not falling off my nose this time but um yeah gonna maybe hang out in the jacuzzi for a little bit um and then head on home for bedtime So here's where Maddie and Brooklyn slept last night. We put Brooklyn's head on that side, Maddie's head on that side, and then put the pillows up to kind of keep them from falling off. And then Brooklyn's hanging out on the couch. Summer's hanging out in her crib. And then Ace was sleeping there. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs>